Hello, hello, everybody. This is the Board of School Education here, coming up with science now, a new subject. Today, we'll be discussing the changes in states of matter. So, within this, we'll be discussing all types of changes in matter and everything else that goes with it. So, the states of matter. We will be going through the states of matter through a very distinct list. And yeah, I'll be dumbing it down, explaining to everyone. I would suggest you guys to have like a notebook or something to write down these definitions that we're going over today. So let's start with matter. What is matter? What is matter, guys? Oops, I don't know what happened there. But guys, what is matter? Not what is a matter. What is matter? Write at least one to three sentences explaining. Matter is anything that takes up space and has volume. Oops, what is matter? Matter is anything that takes up space and volume. I'll leave that for you. Oops, I keep putting, clicking out of it. That is for you guys to copy down on a piece of paper or anything. Um, saying it might be one to three sentences. I would suggest to write it down and stuff, but you don't have to. It's just YouTube. So, most matter on Earth can exist in the three states of matter, which is solid, liquid, and gas. So sometimes you may see the black and a B, like this gray type stuff, side to go with it. So now that, I don't know why this is not the right color. Boom. So what's a solid, guys? What's solid? Well, a solid is matter with def definite shape and volume. This is caused by fixed, closely packed together particles. Extend that for the definition. You could go copy it down. Actually, I realize this is way too long. Let me make it smaller. There. Hopefully you can read it. Sorry for keep clicking that, but there you go. That is matter. S not matter, solid. So solid is basically, see every day, books, binders, a bowl, a mouse pad, computer, computer tower, glass. Most things are matter. Most things are solid. So let's talk about let's talk about liquid gas and state of change change of state we're not talking about like africa like change of state like seattle stuff okay so moving on now we're going to move on to liquid water Gatorade, I think shampoo counts. But liquid is matter with no definite shape, but definite vi definite vi volume, volume, volume. We're not talking about Pokemon here. Volume. The particles in a liquid are not fixed and can move about. So the particles in the liquid can move around, which in in a solid, they're like all clumped together and only can turn left and right. So, we'll get more in the state of matter when we're done with all the three states of matter. We have the, the gas. Gas. Yes, that's a good one. Gas. Matter that has no definite volume or shape. The particles can move about freely. Gas barely has any particles. And can move around a lot. Because they barely have any. And they're really spaced out. But they're too weak to have an attraction. 
So then again, if you want to find some more good science tip, visit this web link. So let's move on after gas. We have this change of state, the physical change from one state of matter to another. Matter can change from one state to another when thermal energy is released. So basically what's that is saying what is what it is saying that matter no wait no the physical change of one state of matter to another so basically if you like heat a solid it's going to turn into a liquid yeah it's going to turn into a liquid if you keep like having it under heat the liquid's going to turn into a gas which evaporation occurs under the liquid Moving on here. Um, so we have the next few subjects. Not really subjects, I mean, but next few topics. We have four minutes. Okay, good. I'm trying to keep these as short because I know a lot of teachers don't want to spend, spend a lot of time doing this. Boom. Okay. So we have... Melting. Melting is a good one. Melting, the change of state to a solid to a liquid. At, at a subsistence, subsistence melting point, the particles of a solid are vibrating so fast that they break free of their fixed position. So as the solid goes into like a heat mode, basically, It breaks all the particles apart, and they break free, because they're, like, stuck in position. So they break free, which makes it turn into a liquid. Happens when you vibrate too hard as a solid. So moving on, now we have three minutes. We have freezing. The, state of cha the, the change of state from a liquid to a solid. At the substance in freezing points, the particle of liquid are moving so slowly that the particles freeze into place. What that means is basically, have you ever tried putting water into an ice cube dish or like into a bowl and putting it into the freezer? Yeah, it's so cold that the particles inside the liquid cannot really move around like the heatness that moves it all around from the solid to a liquid. So the liquid particles can't really move, which freezes it into a fixed position so it can't really move around. And then it turns into a solid. Moving on, and evaporation. Yeah, evaporation. Evaporation takes place at the surfaces of liquid. So basically, when you have the hot pot of, pretend this yellow is water, water, and have flames here it will heat it up so the water evaporates which will go into the air which will turn into gas we'll get into the word for that in a second okay after that, we have boiling. Vaporization occurs under the liquid. Then again, that's exactly evaporation, evaporation. These two definitions I'm underlining are combined since we're running out of time. Concentration. Here we go. A change from a gas state to a liquid state. That's what I'm talking about. When water is boiled so much, it turns into a, a gas because it evaporates. As the thermal energy of matter increases, its particles spreads out and the substances expand. That's basically the whole gist of thought of this, of the gas changing everything. Wait, no, not the gas changing everything. It's how the substance of matter increases, then the particles spread out, and then it expands. Basically, how that works. So, if you're like, what? Let's talk about thermal expansion, the expanding of matter when it's heated. Matter's heating, it could expand. I'm trying to think of an example, but I'm sorry, I can't think of any right now. So that's thermal expansion. 
we'll do a part two on this.